Welcome to Autobike Focus, where we explore the most advanced machines shaping the future of mobility and defense. Today, we turn our attention to the 2026 Mikoyan MiG-41, a fighter aircraft that is redefining what is possible in aviation. As Russia's highly anticipated next-generation interceptor, the MiG-41 is designed to succeed the MiG-31 and push the boundaries of speed, altitude, and weaponry. It is not just a fighter jet, it is a technological leap intended to secure air superiority well into the mid-21 same century. Origins of the MiG-41 The MiG-41 project stems from Russia's need to replace the aging MiG-31 Foxhound, which has served as the backbone of the country's long-range air defense. Introduced in the late 1970s, the MiG-31 was once unmatched in speed and interception capabilities, but modern threats now demand a completely new platform. The MiG-41, also known as PAC-DP, Prospective Air Complex for Long-Range Interception, has been under development since the early 2010s. By 2026, this futuristic aircraft has finally taken shape, promising to be a hypersonic interceptor capable of handling stealth aircraft, hypersonic missiles, and even low-orbit satellites. Chris design philosophy. The MiG-41 is built around a singular philosophy, extreme speed and extreme reach. While many fifth-generation fighters emphasize stealth and multi-role flexibility, the MiG-41's mission is focused and uncompromising. It is a dedicated interceptor meant to neutralize threats before they ever reach Russian airspace. Its airframe incorporates a sleek design optimized for hypersonic flight with radar-absorbing materials reducing its visibility on enemy sensors. The fuselage is engineered to handle the extreme heat generated at speeds exceeding Mach 4 and possibly reaching Mach 5, making it one of the fastest operational aircraft ever conceived. Speed and Performance Speed is the defining characteristic of the MiG-41. Reports suggest that it can cruise comfortably above Mach 4, making it nearly twice as fast as its predecessor. With experimental scramjet and advanced turbojet technology, it could potentially achieve Mach 5 plus performance. At such velocities, it can intercept incoming aircraft and missiles with unprecedented speed, reducing reaction times for adversaries to mere minutes. Its high operational ceiling, estimated to exceed 70,000 feet, allows it to engage targets at extreme altitudes, even skimming the edge of space where traditional fighters cannot operate. Range and Endurance The MiG-41 is designed for long-range missions across Russia's vast borders. Unlike multi-role fighters that often rely on aerial refueling, the MiG-41 boasts an extended range that enables it to patrol thousands of kilometers without assistance. This endurance is critical, given Russia's massive airspace and the increasing threat posed by long-range stealth bombers and hypersonic cruise missiles. By covering vast distances at hypersonic speeds, the MiG-41 ensures rapid interception capabilities that protect strategic assets and cities deep within Russian territory. Advanced Avionics To operate effectively in the modern battlefield, the MiG-41 is equipped with cutting-edge avionics and sensors. Its radar system is believed to be a highly advanced iteration of the Zaslan AM phased array radar, capable of detecting stealth aircraft at long ranges. In addition, it is rumored to incorporate infrared search and track IRST systems, giving it a passive detection ability against low observable targets. Artificial intelligence and advanced onboard computers assist the pilot in managing hypersonic flight, targeting, and electronic warfare operations. Weapons and Armament The MiG-41's weapon systems are equally futuristic. Unlike conventional fighters, it is designed to carry a range of hypersonic missiles, including the R-37M long-range air-to-air missile and newly developed weapons tailored for high-speed engagements. There is speculation that it will even be capable of deploying anti-satellite missiles, giving Russia the ability to threaten space-based assets. With internal weapons bays, the MiG-41 maintains a stealth profile while carrying a versatile arsenal suited for neutralizing everything from stealth bombers to orbital targets. I didn't know Irene countering hypersonic threats. One of the most remarkable missions of the MiG-41 is its ability to counter hypersonic threats. As rival nations develop hypersonic missiles capable of bypassing traditional defenses, Russia's answer is an interceptor that can outpace and outclimb these weapons. By reaching extreme speeds and altitudes, 
The MiG-41 can position itself ahead of an incoming missile's trajectory and neutralize it with advanced interception technology. This role makes the MiG-41 a cornerstone of Russia's future air defense network, stealth and survivability. Although speed is its primary defense, stealth has not been ignored. The MiG-41 incorporates radar-absorbing coatings and a carefully designed airframe that minimizes radar cross-section. While it may not match dedicated stealth fighters like the F-35 in terms of low observability, its combination of reduced detectability and overwhelming speed makes it extremely difficult to track and engage. Furthermore, its advanced electronic countermeasures ensure that enemy radars and missile systems struggle to lock onto it in combat situations. Role in Russian Defense Strategy The MiG-41 is not envisioned as a mass-produced frontline fighter, but rather as a specialized guardian of Russian skies. Its mission is to act as a shield, intercepting the most dangerous threats before they reach Russian airspace. This makes it a critical asset in Russia's layered defense strategy, working alongside other platforms like the Su-57 multi-role fighter and advanced air defense systems such as the S-500. Together, they form a networked shield designed to protect Russian territory from evolving threats. Comparison with global fighters When compared to other next-generation aircraft such as the U.S. NGAD program or China's J-20 advancements, the MiG-41 stands apart due to its specialized focus. While the NGAD and J-20 are multi-role platforms prioritizing stealth and versatility, the MiG-41 doubles down on speed and interception. This makes it less flexible in traditional dogfighting scenarios, but far more effective at defending large territories against incoming bombers, stealth fighters, and hypersonic weapons. In short, it is a niche weapon built for a unique role that no other aircraft currently fills. Technological Challenges Developing an aircraft capable of sustained hypersonic flight is no simple task. Russia faces immense engineering challenges in designing engines that can operate efficiently across such a wide speed spectrum. Heat management, material science, and avionics integration all present obstacles that must be overcome. Furthermore, funding and sanctions complicate the project's progress. Despite these challenges, Russia has remained committed to pushing the MiG-41 forward, signaling its importance to the nation's future defense. Future Outlook by 2026, the MiG-41 is expected to enter limited testing and evaluation, with operational deployment projected in the late 2020s or early 2030s. If successful, it will secure Russia's position as the only nation fielding a true hypersonic interceptor, cementing its place as a technological pioneer in air defense. Its development may also accelerate global competition, pushing other nations to pursue similar high-speed interceptor designs. The MiG-41 thus represents not just a new aircraft, but a strategic shift in how air defense is envisioned. Conclusion The 2026 Mikoyan MiG-41 is more than an aircraft. It is a statement of intent. By prioritizing speed, range, and interception over multi-role versatility, Russia has created a machine unlike any other in the skies. It is a response to the evolving threats of stealth bombers, hypersonic missiles, and orbital weapons, serving as a futuristic shield for Russian airspace. As it begins to take flight, the world will be watching closely, for the MiG-41 may very well redefine the future of aerial warfare.